Davidson in the home white, Mason in the traveling green, and we are underway. You talk about Davidson, Cap, being a, a strange team or the way they run things just a little more difficult. Expound on that a little bit more. How, how is it so that they make it so difficult on you to defend them? Because they're able to spread the floor and they got multiple guys. Speaking of shooters, Tyler Kolick, the freshman, getting the start for George Mason. He can fill it up from the outside if he gets heated up. They cannot settle for quick threes like they did last night in the first half. It's a different club they're yeah. playing. And there you go, Luke Brykovich, junior from Feldkirch, Austria. Hall of Famer. Ten-time coach of the year. Lives across the street from the school. Great. Awesome. Brady with a nice little floater down the lane. The lead is now at 13. Davidson 4-0 on offensive rebounds. They have five second chance points, and that is just going to drive Dave Paulson, the Patriots, crazy. Run up light with a soft floater, can't get it there. And a nice cleanup around the rim. You watch how hard they've got to work. There are hands, jerseys everywhere, but they stay relentless on the glass, as we talked about in the open. That guy right there, Jordan Miller, tough. I'll tell you what, Davidson's defense has been sharp as well as their offense. Yeah, they've been really on point defensively. Under nine and a half to play here in the first half. Winner moving on to take on VCU. Just took out Dayton in the game just before this. Semifinals will be set after this one. Lee on the drive, stop, pulls up from the base and gets it to fall. Javon Green will be called for the foul. There's really, you, know, you look at the Davidson lineup cap and there's really no rhyme or reason on positions. It's like everyone could be a guard, everyone could be a forward. You could probably play a lot of these guys at center. I don't know if McKillop buys into the one, two, three, four, five positioning. It's just, I got five really good athletes and good shooters. And that's the key, they all can make shots. Second steal, Green will take this one in uncontested. Quick hands for him, 32-15. He's gonna see it, that's from watching the scouting report. Hey man, when they swing the ball side to side, they're gonna take it to the opposite wing. Bam! Get up in the passing lane, he's gone. Under five, Mason trying to get their offense in sync and get some stops. Oduro backing in wildly and gets it to drop. Bates Jones was there and thought he had contested very well and just unable to stop the onslaught that was. And we call that bully ball. Josh Oduro. Oh, the fake in the drive. Just when you think Bates Jones is gonna fire up another three, he shows you he goes to the left. How about Bates Jones? Look at this footwork. Everybody's turned their back, Cole. 39, 29, oh, 21, Davidson leading George Mason. Four minutes to go, and there's a problem that Bob McKellop's gonna probably address. That's the fourth steal, and this time Jordan Miller does get an uncontested dunk. Easy two for him. Our coach always just put in fresh nets because it took longer for the ball to get through the hoop. Not the problem for Kellen Grady. Lay down McGuire. You yeah. have to take the nets and soak them in water overnight. Nice and tight. The ball up. wouldn't come through as quick. Olek, deep range wow. right in Lee's face. And moments ago, Lee patted on the back, hey, nice shot. I don't think he's gonna give him the same dap this time. UMass eliminated earlier today by St. Louis. Now the Billikens will take on the number one seed, St. Bonaventure Bonnie's long range three. Right. You know, I always try to go back to my scouting life and think, can they play at the next level? And I look at Lee and he's, an outstanding shooter, but he's very thin. Where are you gonna play him? And then I see Yuta Watanabe, who played at GW, yeah. on the Spurs. Yeah. I look at Grady. These guys all make shots, and the league has changed. If you can make shots, you're gonna get a look. And Grady can make shots. With VCU and the winner of this game, Davidson and George Mason, scoring off in the next semifinal. 
and one. Offense has not changed a bit for Coach McKillop and his Wildcats. They're still running that motion offense, everyone moving, no one's stagnant, good ball sharing. If you're going to get the ball in someone's hands, why not get it in that guy's hands? Kellen Grady is having himself a game. This is Davis's best shooting night of the season. 58.6 percentage from the field, tops their previous best of 56.7. And it does go final, the three seed getting past the six, 99-67. So it will be the Davidson Wildcats that are moving on to take on VCU in the second semifinal.